we really try to take some time to catch up with each other, not always talk about work, uh, make some time to really like hear stories and you know be curious about each other. We have kind of walk and talk one to ones as well, which means that we will go out, get some exercise, but also some fresh air and get a break. But just that chance to kind of connect with each other. We always start the team meeting with how are you feeling and do you need any support from the team? And then everyone gives a color. So green is I'm doing well and I'm also ready to help others. I think orange is a bit more, you know, I, I could use maybe some time for some personal chats or I could use some support. And red is, yeah, I need you. I need everyone in the team to help. So we are supporting each other, giving nice words, like some high five. We make like a lunch together. And yeah, we just try to walk, have a coffee walk. And then, hey, you sit in that chill long, get your blood flowing, you know. <laughs> The lines between work and home have become quite blurred over the last couple of years. So bringing more of yourself to work is sort of something you can't avoid now. And if you've got something going on for you, then, you know, it's, it's fine to make, a, make people aware of that so that they can feel comfortable that that's something that they can share as well. On a personal level, I do have like daily non-negotiables that I really try to prioritise. So exercising first in the morning, um, eating foods that make me feel good, um, getting time with my friends and my family, but also trying to get sleep. And sleep is a constant work in progress, so I don't profess to get it right all the time, but I know what makes me feel good, and I try to prioritise those things.